Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have had the loveliest Sunday so far. So if you are new here, my name is Holly, I make food and fitness content. I don't know why I've started to add a jig in when I say that, but I feel like I need to cut it out, that needs to... So today's video, oh guys, it's gonna be the last LA vlog which literally makes my heart hurt to say. I have <laughs> accidentally upset, so I have a morning meeting, which I'm about to jump on, but basically what today's vlog is gonna be, I'm just gonna be taking you with me for the day. We're gonna be doing a final Trader Joe's haul of all the snacks that I'm gonna be taking back home to the UK because there are some things that I now cannot live without. I also wanna sit down and kind of talk to you guys about the trip because I feel like I had to be a little bit coy because this has been a solo trip. So for security, I guess, reasons, I haven't been able to say some things. I've had a lot of questions. So I kind of want to do a bit of a trip reflection now that we have hit the end of the six weeks in LA But I'm just gonna have a quick bowl of cereal. This is my All-time favorite. I need to google whether they have this in the UK If not, I think we're gonna have to buy an extra suitcase to take some home because they do this one And they also do the cinnamon one, which is amazing. It's fairly sickly. So I can't eat it as much, but it's So good. I'm gonna jump on that meeting and I'll come back. Morning meeting is done. We are now going to head off. I think we're going to grab a coffee. Then we're going to go to the gym. I'm actually going to take my laptop with me and hopefully find somewhere to work. It's just so rainy in LA at the moment. It's making me so sad because I'm like, please just go away for my last few days. I just want to sit outside and have a coffee. Is that too much to ask? But I did actually get some tattoos done this week and I haven't shown you guys on YouTube yet. So I'm going to show you. I've had this piece done here. I will insert like a close up video. It definitely felt like a very bold move getting something quite big put on my arm because I I feel like with my other ones they're so dainty that like you could almost be like she doesn't have tattoos i don't know if that makes sense to anyone but with this i feel like i have tattoos but it means a lot to me this tattoo and it's hard to not go into the meaning without talking about lots of stuff from my past which i just don't speak about because it's in the past but i have oh, it's hard to explain I just basically have marks on my arm from a bad period of time in my life and it was a time in my life where I just didn't ever feel like I was like worthy of anything and I was just in such a dark place like I can't even explain to you how dark the place was that I was in and I basically just wanted to get a butterfly to cover up some of those marks but also just to symbolize the fact that I've grown obviously butterflies like go into cocoons and then they grow into beautiful butterflies and I'm not saying I'm a big beautiful butterfly but I definitely feel like it represents the growth that I've had in my life and how my mentality has changed over the years and how I'm kind of out of that dark place and my life is just very very different now so that is what that one represents there and then I also got another written quote here this one says the time is now now, and it's like all along my wrist here and this is just to remind me that literally the time is now the time to do anything is the present moment i sit and i think over things so much and i overthink things and this is my year for being impulsive and for making decisions that are really scary but ultimately the time to make those decisions is now because time will literally fly by and pass us all by within a split second and then we don't get the opportunity to make those choices anymore so that is just representative of that for me but i absolutely love them i will tag the artist name in the description box as well because he is phenomenal and this tattoo is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So yeah, I would definitely pop him in there in case anyone is in LA and does want to get a tattoo. It really didn't take me too long to get booked in with him. I think I booked in like two weeks in advance. Okay, so I just grabbed an Alfred's coffee. Look, right, okay, so first of all, it's Alfred Times Brooks, which is obviously a running wear brand. And then, do we not just think that is the creepiest thing in the world considering I am running the Paris Marathon in 18 days? Oh, let me just feel a little bit sick. Woo, 18 days. That is not that far away, people. It's only water. It's either sick or swim. Can't hold back your light and expect to win. Gotta go harder. Oh, you've got to learn Don't suppress your fire, baby, let it burn Be who you are Nobody can take that away from you Oh, straight from the heart No playing games You gotta be true, true, true
there is nothing in life I think I enjoy more than a breakfast solo date. Like, what is more fun than just sitting and eating breakfast in peace? <laughs> like, honestly, I had a conversation with someone the other day and I was like, I am all about, like, the simple things in life. Like, don't get me wrong, I love, like, a fancy dinner, buying a nice pair of shoes, but, like, the things that make me, like, genuinely happy are literally moments like that where I can just sit in like bliss i felt like i'm like an 80 year old man like i need like a newspaper or something but that was such a good session and i'm gonna tell you something as soon as i walked into that gym my brain went immediately no this is gonna be awful the gym was heaving when i say busy like there was like groups of people flooded around machines and obviously with the gym that i go to so it's gold's gym in venice i think a lot of people come for like the kind of like touristy vibe of it because it's obviously a very famous gym so you get a lot of groups of people visiting i guess it's just a popular gym like if you're in venice like why would you not train there like it's amazing it's such a good vibe so i walked in and i was like everything is busy i'm not going to get on any of the shoes i want it's the first time going there by myself i've been going with my sister and i just was like can't do it can't do it can't do it but in that situation you have a choice you can either leave the gym and be annoyed at yourself all day for not even trying to throw together a workout or you can just adapt and overcome and that's what i decided to do so in that situation i do a few little steps first thing is just go and find a mat or like a stretching area and i'll sit there i'll just do some dynamic stretches just get my body warmed up while i'm doing that i will actually scout the area out i will find the machines that i need to be using see how busy they are see if they're free if they are too busy the next thing i will go and do is literally just go and grab a dumbbell and stand in the free weight section get comfortable in like a little bubble of space do some dumbbell exercises if you do feel comfortable you can then step outside of that and go to a machine because sometimes you just need to kind of settle in to like the gym vibe and let the gym anxiety kind of like wash away but that does take a while so just doing some dumbbell movements is actually perfect for that i did that exactly then you guys will see that i started with my dumbbell workouts and then went on to my compound list which i know you're supposed to do the other way around but like i said sometimes you just have to adapt and overcome and then as soon as i felt comfortable i went and picked up a barbell and did some weightlifting there which ended up being a really good session i'm not gonna lie it wasn't the session i was supposed to do i was supposed to do hip thrust however the thought of like setting up hip thrust i've spoken about this before it's just really overwhelming sometimes and i just wasn't ready to do it i couldn't see the right size box and i didn't want to be like walking around the gym like feeling like a lost puppy also in that situation you just need to remind yourself like everybody is in there to look at themselves like nobody goes to the gym to look at what other people are doing so that is what you have to remember the whole time so those are just like my little steps kind of overcome gym anxiety because i've definitely been experiencing it being in a new place and trying out new gyms is really fun and it's such a good like little like activity to do but it does bring on that new gym feeling which is terrifying sometimes so those are just my little tips that i always follow but we're gonna head out to trader joe's now because i need to do the snack pickup before we head home Right, I'm back and I've got ready, but I'm gonna show you guys the little bits that I grabbed. It's quite annoying because like some of the stuff that like I love, like the everything and bagel cream cheese spread that they do, I obviously can't bring that back because I don't feel like that would travel very well on an 11 hour flight. But I'm gonna show you guys the bits that I did get. Again, I feel like we all know my suitcase situation by now. I came with three suitcases that were very full and all overweight, so I have to be sensible <laughs> with what I'm taking and I already know that I'm not gonna have enough room and I already know that we're about to go shopping as well. That's what I've decided to do this afternoon. So the suitcase situation is a situation. But first thing I picked up is these chocolate cookies. If you go to Trade Joe's, you need to try these. But also, I actually prefer the gluten-free version. I don't know why. I think like these gluten-free ones are a bit chunkier. They're like a sea salt chocolate chip cookie and I just... I'll explain to you how good they are i also picked up some um carb savvy tortillas because these are literally 45 calories and i have loved them so much and i've never seen tortillas that low in calorie at home i might be packing these for no reason because they do have them in the uk but we moved then i got these everything but the bagel crackers i have been living off these i can't open them because i won't be able to stop eating them also with the cookies i did buy like five packs then I actually picked these up for my mum. So I got her some dark chocolate mint creams because she loves an after eight and I've heard really good things about these. Finally, I got these, which I'm going to take when I see my friends. So these are brownie and cookie brookies. Is that my last name? Cute. Brookies. So I got those. Like, look at that split oh my god they just look so good and then i got some sea salt brownies because sea salt and chocolate is just it's clearly the vibe here and i'm just loving it so 
POA, plan of action. I want to head to Colt Gaia, which is a shop that I haven't actually been in here yet. If you guys haven't heard of the brand, they just do the most beautiful pieces. And I didn't realize that they have like a flagship store here and I've just been stalking them on social media for ages. So I'm gonna go and have a little look, just maybe try on a dress or two because just, the stuff is just stunning. Then I actually do wanna maybe head to the House of CB store here because I have got a few plans this weekend that I would like some nice bits for maybe. Then hopefully if we have time, I want to head down to the beach. I'm going to take my journal with me because I feel like I want to do some journaling before I go home and I feel like being sat on the beach is like the perfect place to do it. Finally, I am going to sit down either today or at this bit in tomorrow and I ask you guys for some questions about the trip as a big Q&A because like I said earlier in the trip, I didn't even disclose that this was a solo trip. I didn't really talk about where I was staying. So I thought it's kind of better to just throw it on the end of here. Um, obviously I did mention I'll leave all my recommendations and stuff on Instagram. Lots of the questions were about those, but I'll leave all of those on Instagram because it's just so much easier to like tag and follow the places through that. In terms of like why I came out, how I found solo traveling, all those kind of questions. I will answer all of those either later today or tomorrow. But yeah, that is the POA. Let's head out because I don't want to waste any more daylight. Guys, I have been so excited to go into that shop for literally the longest amount of time. Sorry, it's very loud here. For literally the longest amount of time. And you know when you set foot in somewhere, the vibe is just so bad. Like the staff literally like looked me up and down as I walked in. We're just like, hi. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to be here. So yeah, I did try two things on, but it wasn't a very like pleasant shopping experience you know when you just go and you just feel like instantly judged and like they were like looking at my shoes and i was like i don't know what i'm supposed to be wearing to be shopping in here but clearly i'm not wearing the right thing so yeah a bit of a disappointing shopping experience but we move the pieces in there are beautiful and i feel like it's such a good like standalone and it's a really pretty store as well so if you guys haven't hopped in you definitely should but to be honest i feel like my shopping fuse is like a little bit short today i'm just not really in the shopping mood but i did get a little cord from mistress rocks which is nice i can wear that when i go out this weekend before i head home so i actually ended up getting stuck in loads of traffic and getting stuck behind a car crash so that combined basically means i don't have time to go to the beach day which is fine i was actually in like beverly hills which is like there and the beach is like down there so between them was like an hour with the traffic which is something to consider if you want to come to la there's a lot of traffic and i'm going out for dinner with friends so i don't have time to go to the beach and then come back so i'm gonna do the q and a now just to wrap up the video i asked you guys for some questions on instagram just about my trip because i know there's some things i've been like a little coy about i guess could you say like it's just more of like i mentioned earlier security thing like i have been here by myself for the majority of the time so i couldn't really like disclose the areas i was staying or things like that just kind of like be safe i hope you guys can understand if it has been a bit annoying if I'm not saying like where I'm staying and stuff like that or like what websites I've used to find my apartments it was just because that's not a very safe thing to do while you're staying in the apartments but as you are watching this I will be leaving the country oh my god that's so sad I'm gonna jump on and yeah just go through the questions so there's obviously the question that I answered earlier is did you go by yourself did you know anyone out there already how did you make friends so I did not know a single soul in Los Angeles when I decided to come here. I didn't know one person. I don't have any family here. I just loved it when I came five years ago and I just love kind of the vibe that it is here. It's very like health focused. Obviously it's beautiful. It's, I mean like it's LA, like what else can you say about it? I feel like there's so many different areas with like different vibes themselves. So you get so much here, like you've got the city but you've also got the beach. And I just wanted to go somewhere where I could really experience a bit of everything. So it literally ticked every single box. But yeah, I did not know one person, which 
was a little bit crazy considering it's the first time I've ever done a solo trip. I've never gone anywhere by myself before. So I decided to travel 11 hours to a country where I didn't have any friends or family, <laughs> which to be honest, like I threw myself in the deep end and I'm glad that I did. A lot of people along with that question asked if I've been lonely. I got that so much at the beginning of my trip and I know it never comes from a negative place but I was literally getting messages every day like are you not lonely like why are you by yourself like for me to do this I really wanted to prove to myself that like I can do anything and I can literally move to a whole new country and live there and make friends as I go and I did exactly that and I will be honest there is not one point in this trip where I have felt lonely. I'm really fortunate in the way that my job is YouTube and Instagram, so I'm constantly creating content. And having you guys with me for YouTube, like you know that I've made a lot more YouTube videos since I've been out here. I've been like taking you guys with me and this might sound really sad, but it literally feels like you are here with me. So when I'm going out for lunch dates, or when I go shopping and I take you with me and I'm talking to the camera, like I do feel like I'm talking to like my friends. So that probably really helps. Also, I am so comfortable in my own company. I love doing things by myself. I think that comes from just being an independent person but also living by myself anyway so to go for lunch by myself or to take myself to the beach like for me that feels really empowering like that's how I look at it so the next question was best places to stay where did you stay what was your favorite area so this is my opinion on somebody that has been here for six weeks that is not the longest amount of time and I'm sure that if people are locals and they live here they might have different opinions so originally my first apartment was up in the Hollywood Hills this apartment that I'm currently in is in Santa Monica. They are completely different vibes and there's pros and cons to each of them. Staying in the Hollywood Hills was beautiful. The apartment was stunning. Like you guys would have seen the view. It was so nice. I loved waking up there every single day. The pros of that are just purely the apartment. The cons of that were that being in the hills, you have to drive everywhere. There isn't even like walking paths outside of your house. Like you literally have to have a car. Hollywood and West Hollywood as an area, I'm sure you could get an apartment there and walk a few more places the only thing I will say about Hollywood which can I just say I think West Hollywood and Hollywood is my favorite area I think if I come back that is probably where I will end up going there is so much going on there they've got the coolest bars they've got the coolest restaurants they've got really good workout classes you've got like soul cycle rumble boxing there is just like loads going on there you've also got good access to kind of like everywhere like Beverly Hills is down the road this area that I'm in now Santa Monica is lovely it's way more of a chilled vibe everything is a lot more walkable it's near the beach so it's just like a completely different atmosphere if you want more of like a beachy seasidey holiday I would probably say to stay in Santa Monica you've then got Abikini which is like a really lovely area of like shops and restaurants the way I'm saying it I'm like I do love it here it's really hard like I'm very split between the two I do just think West Hollywood is more my kind of vibe. I'm glad I did both areas because I kind of did get to figure that out. I'm in more of a house here and I don't like that. I prefer being in an apartment just because I feel safer. Talking about safety, one of the questions was, did you feel safe as a girl traveling alone? I personally haven't felt unsafe apart from in the evenings at the beginning of the trip there's something slightly eerie especially about hollywood one of my uber drivers was like they call it hollywood at night it just gets a little bit eerie the homelessness is quite bad in hollywood and along the beach in santa monica so you don't really want to be out alone as a female in the evening which is just something really to consider if you are solo traveling because it just means that when the sun is up you want to be making the most of it and then when the sun goes down it's kind of time to like head in and go to bed which is what I did when I kind of didn't have any friends to go out within the evening at the beginning of my trip. Lots of people wondering how expensive is it? How much money did you save up to go? How did you afford it? So let's talk about this. LA is expensive. It is an expensive place. I feel like I breathe in some places of LA and I end up spending money. I want to say two things here though. You can do this a lot cheaper than I did. I am going to say this now. I'm not going to disclose how much money I spent on this trip. I spent a lot of money on this trip, but I also worked hard and I've saved a lot of money, which has made me feel like I could do this in a comfortable way. And I'm one of these people, if I'm going to go and do a trip, I want to do it hundred percent. It can be done. I don't want to say cheaper because I, I don't think it's a cheap trip. I think coming to LA itself, you have to consider that there's flights to pay for. I think the flights on average are around a thousand pounds and then accommodation and accommodation is expensive as well but there are definitely ways that you can do it on a lower budget than what I did it on. I have gone 
all out on this trip i have also eaten out a lot that's something to consider as well the food i think more so in like west hollywood i would probably say it's slightly similar to like london prices like some of the restaurants that i went to cocktails are around like 20 25 pounds which is quite expensive but i will let you know the websites that i personally used to book my accommodation because that was one of the main questions so i used for the first apartment i stayed in it was called plum guide which i'd never heard of before but it's more of like a luxury airbnb so if you're looking for nicer properties or more luxurious looking properties that is probably the website to go on. And then for this one, I also used another website I've not heard of called Verbo, V-R-B-O.com. So lots of people are asking why I'm coming home. Why didn't I extend my trip? They thought that I was staying in LA longer. So I did extend my trip. I initially booked my trip for four weeks. I've ended up staying for six weeks now. So I did extend it by two weeks. However, I'm running the Paris Marathon. So I can't stay any longer than that because I need to go home in order to adjust to the time difference. I would literally stay up to the day of the marathon and fly here to the marathon if I could but I will be severely jet lagged so I'm going home and giving myself a week to adjust just over a week actually to adjust before I do end up running the marathon so that is why unfortunately I couldn't extend it any longer than that you do also only get 90 days on a tourist visa in LA and speaking of that somebody was like would you consider moving to LA permanently could you see yourself living in LA long term I love it here so much like it hit me a lot harder than I thought it would in terms of how much I truly love it as a place here I think coming to LA really made me realize how big the world is and how much there is to see I could definitely see myself living in California long term it's just not that easy unfortunately I'm not going to go into it but there is a lot of variables in that equation and that is what we're going to leave that at but that is my opinion on yeah could I live here a hundred percent. I think it is one of the most amazing places I've ever been and I feel like I've really been my true self here. Somebody said the best part of LA you will miss the most. <laughs> I would say really hard to know how much to kind of say on the internet sometimes because like you guys are literally like my friends and I feel like I want to tell you every single detail of everything that has been going on but there are some things that sometimes i have to kind of remind myself and be like whoa okay like you can't overshare all the time so in answer to that the best part of la that i will miss is not so much a place but a person and now we're gonna move on really swiftly that is me answering that question job done tick goodbye somebody said what's been the biggest achievement for you since living there so i think the first thing that comes to mind is running 35 kilometers. That run was so tough. And like in terms of like physical challenges, that has definitely been one. I've also pushed myself outside of my comfort zone in so many situations here in terms of meeting new people and going to new gyms where I felt super anxious and I felt super uncomfortable, but I've pushed through that barrier. I think just being on this trip in general and not actually having any moments where I'm like, oh my God, I need to go home has probably been a huge achievement. I also feel like going on a solo trip has really allowed me to really reflect kind of on like my life and what I want to do with it and that sounds really deep but it's really given me a lot of distance from the UK and time to kind of rethink over things that I felt I valued and I felt were important to me but actually having a bit of distance from those things kind of makes you put everything into perspective and it has really changed my outlook on kind of like the direction that I want to take in life in terms of like I was saying earlier like the world is so big like there is so much out there to see and I think for a long time I was kind of like I'm gonna live in Manchester for the rest of my life and my view on that has really really changed now so that for me is probably like a really big achievement because it's just made me kind of like open my eyes a little bit more and I've always felt like I'm quite open-minded but I feel like this has definitely made me realize that I was living in a bit of a box at home and it was within my comfort zone living outside of your comfort zone can be the most exciting thing that you can do and it will put you on paths that you never ever expected and those paths can lead you to like the most amazing things so it's yeah that for me is like an achievement in terms of like my mentality change loads and loads of people are asking about the driving situation so i rented a car asap as soon as i was out here i knew i needed a car because like i said my apartment was up in the hills i did not struggle with the driving at all don't get me wrong you do have to address to it you literally drive on the whole other side of the road also they can turn on the right 
at a red light that blew my mind for a long time because I was like the, the light is red why are people moving or like I wouldn't go and people would be beeping me and I was like why are you beeping me because technically I can go but in England if it's red it is red you cannot go anywhere so that really threw me however I feel like I've adjusted to it very quickly I had one incident where I turned into the wrong side of the road they also don't really have roundabouts which is nice because I think roundabouts on the other side of the road would be confusing I have actually found it fine I think the roads in America are way bigger than they are in England a lot of the cars are bigger here as well so I've actually found it a little bit easier to drive out here I'd say and that concludes my little LA vlog for the trip this feels really sad I feel like I'm literally gonna cry I have literally loved this trip and like making content and it's been honestly so nice to see my YouTube family grow so much since I've been out here because hopefully like you guys have been commenting stuff like you guys have enjoyed the content as well and yeah it's just been like actually a life-changing trip and I know that sounds a little bit dramatic but it really has been and I feel like this is exactly what I needed and I stopped myself from doing this trip so many times and I held myself back and my biggest regret is that I didn't do it sooner and everybody always says that but it really really is and honestly if you are thinking about it and you're thinking about going on a solo trip and you really want to go somewhere and just be super independent and spend some time by yourself just do it because it is the most rewarding and enlightening thing and you don't know where it's going to take you this definitely isn't the last time i'm going to be in la this year i definitely will be coming back hopefully asap and then we can make some more la content i think it'll be exciting to come back when i'm not training for a marathon because one thing i've kind of noticed is that there was a few weeks where it just really tired me out and i did really have the energy to do as much as i wanted to but yeah guys thank you so much for all of the support on the la content i am gutted to be signing off but like i said this is not going to be the last la vlog of the year mark my words we will be back better than ever but yeah thank you so much and i will see you when i'm back in the uk